Tonight, the new report on the crash that killed Kobe Bryant, his 13-year-old daughter Gianna, and seven others, including their pilot, who in their final moments told air traffic control they were climbing to 4,000 feet. But in reality, they were falling, according to the NTSB, evidence that the veteran pilot may have been disoriented in the fog. This and other details, part of more than 1,000 pages of communications now made public, including text messages sent from the pilot Ara Zabayan, one of Bryant's preferred pilots. about Kobe's death? I was actually pretty shocked. You know, I wasn't expecting it, so it kind of broke my heart, and to be honest, I was crying. So, yeah, that definitely impacted me. It was a tragic, literally. I, and, and to be honest with you, I really thought it was fake when I seen it yes. like, on Instagram yes. and stuff. Because it was, like, posted around on a lot of memes and stuff, and I really thought it was fake until I uh, went and no it's actually until I turned on the TV and it was like breaking news. It was all over the news too it happened so fast. It was devastating to say the least because it was something that you definitely didn't think of and it wasn't even just um, him because you, you, he lived a, a long fulfilling life but his daughter, the other kids that were there like the entire thing overall just made it more tragic than it was previously. It was it's, it's horrible. Tim, oh. did you cry? Uh, yes, I shed a few tears. Um, it was heartbreaking, you know, uh, to sit there and know that Kobe Bryant drove every day to every game that he played in for the 20 years of the Laker history by helicopter to the Staples Center and knowing all it took was one ride, it was tragic, you know. And like Lay says, his daughter, that was just sad, you know, life incomplete. And what happened is uh, he actually died on the same day as my grandfather as well, so mm -hmm. it kind of hit home for me as well. And he died on my birthday. Um, That's so, my dad's birthday too. Yeah. Breaking news, very sad news to tell the sports world. The LA Times is reporting that retired Los Angeles Lakers basketball star Kobe Bryant has been killed in a helicopter crash.
just watched um, a tribute to Kobe Bryant. Who was Kobe for you? Who was Kobe for me? Yeah. Um, Kobe was actually like, you know, he was, he was an idol in the basketball world, to be honest, you know. I grew up watching Kobe. Um, even though I didn't play like organized basketball, but when I did play, you know, I visioned myself as I was actually Kobe on the court. For me, for me, Kobe, uh, growing up in a household with my grandparents, um, I didn't see the typical parents going out every day waking up at work, so Kobe taught me work that day. Um, he's a lot of motivation. Who is um, Kobe for you? Kobe to me is an inspiration. He works hard in and out every day. Wakes up 5 a.m. I remember this video I was watching on him. He told me his process, how hard he works and stuff. Look how it turned out, he got five rings. I wouldn't say that like there was nothing special. I like the, the man, the way he carried himself, even with all the obstacles and stuff that they had. I really appreciate that. Plus, there's no better game than the ball with a piece of paper and yell, Kobe! Like, <laughs> it's mean, like the yeah. highlight of it's like the highlight of everything. I so. say that too, yeah. Like out of all the players, I mean, besides Jordan, you know, when people play when the kids play games and stuff, like I said, you know, Kobe paper or the tornado, you know, one of those two. So I, I guess, you know, you can get a thing about it, he's part of like everybody's household or even just like going around like even on the court, you know what I'm saying? You go, oh, he's, he's, he's Kobe, he's Jordan and things like that. He was good for young black family, like young black men because I mean he's young, he's black, he spoke several languages, he lived all over the place. Like he wasn't typical uh, NBA player, um, but he also didn't show, act like he was on a power trip. He always remained normal. Yeah, he was an idol, you know. His worth ethic goes on, on, on like no other. Um, and like Daniel and Lay say, you know, uh, every kid wanted to be in their backyard counted down three, two, one. Game winner. That was emotional. What is purple and gold for you? Royalty. Greatness. 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 Champion. Legendary. It's LA all day. I mean, if you're not gang banging, you better be a Lakers fan. That's true. It's the only color that's neutralized to get you away with what you think. And it, it, it just represents California. Uh, California all every day, every night is a Lakers town. Sorry, Lakers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How did you feel about the Lakers win this year? The championship. The championship. An obvious, an yeah. obvious win. It was dedicated to Kobe. Yeah. It's not the Lakers without Kobe. So even though LeBron has his handprints all over his championship, it's for Kobe. I feel King James brought it like they knew um, he would. That's right. We needed that in LA. He so owed it to us. So, or he could have went back where he came from, let's be honest. That LeBron would have right had to leave there. had we not won two years and we didn't get it. I'm sorry, but uh, we didn't pay all that money to get you here and move your barber right. for you not to win and bring no money to the city. First of all, his baby got a better house than me. They bought that little girl that house. She he preached. needed the win. Go ahead and preach. He put her a five bedroom house in the backyard. You gotta, you gotta hold up to it now. My baby's dollhouse can fit in my lap. It just shows you the dedication and the fan base for Kobe Bryant. When LeBron first got to LA, uh, we was tearing down all his posters. If LeBron didn't bring us one, and what made it more sentimental was that he brought us one when uh, just same, happened the same year as Kobe Bryant passing away. This year's win for the Lakers was special. Yeah. Of course, yeah, see, yeah. it was. Um, like, like Tim said earlier, it was like a dedication of the season to, to Kobe, you know, especially everything that's going on in uh, 2020. So this one right here bring, uh, brings a lot of smiles to it. Like, not even like just in general, just across the, the globe. It's not like the fans. Shout out to y'all in the Philippines. Towards the beginning of the season, we didn't know if it was going to be a season, but yeah. 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 No, but still, just a lot of stuff that's going on this year, you know. And just to sum it all up, like I said, it just gives us one shiny moment from this bad year that we've been in. 
due to the pandemic, due to you know, all the uh, racial injustice. Um, Kobe Bryant, you know, and the Lakers, you know, it, was, it was beautiful to see. Congrats to the Lakers once again, West LA, baby. Congrats to the Lakers, good job this year. Hopefully you get another one next year. We'll see what happens. Congratulations to the Lakers organization. Job well done. I just want to say congratulations to the Lakers, the supporting crew, Anthony Davis, LeBron, and uh, shout out to Kobe Bryant. Rest in peace, man. How long have you been a Kobe fan? Since he entered the league in 1996, got drafted by the Hornets. The same day, got traded to the Lakers. Made look how look at the impact he's made with the Lakers, and they just won the champion this year with or without him. But rest in peace, Kobe. Congratulations to the Los Angeles Lakers for winning the 2020 NBA championship. Keep it going. Congratulations to the 2020 NBA champions, the Lakers! LA all day, baby. Oh. Shout out for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment. Boom! All season, I was just waiting and waiting for my opportunity to come. I wanted to prove that I was better than they thought I was. You know, I wanted to prove to myself that I'm better than they think I was. And I was mentally preparing myself and visualizing the moment that would come where you know, I'm, uh, uh, I lead the Los Angeles Lakers to a victory.